So, what have we got? Well, the Volante costs £115,000 for the Flappy Paddle gearbox version, which is 12 grand more than the hardtail. And for that, you get Aston's 6-litre V12, and one of the best interiors known to man. And of course, there's the beautifully made cloth folding roof. But as any enthusiastic driver will point out, lose the roof, compromise the handling. So, is this Aston any different? Let's do the maths. Now, the hardtop has a torsional body stiffness of 27,000 newton meters per degree. That makes it one of the stiffest cars you can buy. Take the top off, though, for the soft top, and that goes down to 15 and a half thousand newton meters so do the sum that means a total loss of eleven and a half thousand newton meters which is about oh that much blimey yes it is indeed blimey it does feel different something about the car tells you that the roof's gone and i don't mean this big patch of blue over my head there's some sort of flex in it it's a bit wobbly For an extra £8,000, you can have this car with a roof that in just 20 seconds can be folded into a cubby hole behind the seats. Sounds great, but don't be too hasty. You see, in a normal car, the front end and the back end are joined together by the floor and the roof. Now, if you remove the roof, you end up with something all kind of flobbery. Anyone who drove an early Saab convertible will know what I'm on about. So to compensate, engineers have to fit lots of strengthening beams, which add weight. And weight spoils the performance, it spoils the handling, it spoils the economy, it spoils everything. Plainly then, you're going to say to the salesman, yes, I'll have the convertible. Nice idea, but it could very well be the biggest mistake of your entire life. And here's why. With the roof down, people can see your bald patch. They can see your stomach. And they can hear the CD that you're playing. Nights in white satin. So you'll end up with what is very possibly the greatest driving machine ever made. And it'll make you look like a complete dork. But we've still got this convertible conundrum. Who here, of the two, would choose the soft top? Hands up. Let's have a look. Who'd choose it? You'd choose the soft top. Youth? Check. Yes? Yeah, I'll go check. Why? It's nice. Yeah, but do you think that we want to look at your face behind the wheel of that? Yeah, why not? Because it's horrid. <laughs> Anyone, keep your hands up. Let's have a look round. Who else will go for the convertible? Well, there were more hands than that a minute ago. <laughs> now you've all suddenly gone all tipped. The thing you've got to remember is this. If, when you look in the mirror, you look like Jose Mourinho, then you can have the soft top. If, when you look in the mirror, you look like Jose Pasquale, <laughs> then you can't. I mean, let me demonstrate. Which one would you rather have? The hard top. Fine, OK. Now, look at this. Would you like to step inside? You step inside there, and I'll just show something to you, OK? There we are, you're in. Now, this is perfect, because he's having the time of his life and we don't have to look at it. <laughs> you see, a normal car like this is strong because the two ends are connected together by a roof and a floor, two pieces of metal. Now, if you take the roof away, you end up with the big heavy engine here connected to the steering and suspension gubbins there by just the floor. Looks like having two bricks joined together by a playing card. It's going to be all wobbly.